Hello, welcome to this episode of the FLTK Rust series. Uh, a viewer had suggested that I create uh, some more content on the uh, on FLTK's drawing capabilities. So FLTK has uh, drawing primitives. Uh, you can see uh, it has its own module. If you open the uh, documentation here. Um, and uh, the modules draw. You can see all these uh, draw functions, and some of these are used uh, within the uh, examples in uh, FLTK. Uh, you have the uh, you go back uh, to the repo itself. You can see that the uh, in the examples uh, directory, the paint example and the pong example. Uh, all of these use the uh, draw primitives and the uh, from the FLTK create. Uh, another way to draw is using another specialized drawing uh, create such as uh, plotters. Uh, I was checking the uh, repo itself, and apparently uh, they have a uh, several backends. So they have uh, an SVG piston backend, a Cairo backend, and their bitmap backend. Uh, so, although FLTK uh, does have an, an optional Cairo uh, backend, uh, it isn't exposed by the FLTK crate itself. So, uh, we'll try to use uh, the other backends, namely the bitmap backend and the SVG backend, and see uh, how it's done. So, uh, I've, went ahead, I've gone ahead and uh, just uh, imported the uh, the plotters crate here and uh, cargo one. So this is the latest uh, build of uh, plotters, and uh, just got the prelude and uh, uh, my basic imports. And then uh, we can use one of the examples here, simple example drawing uh, backends. So if we copy this, so this basically draws a rectangle, the one we see here. So uh, one way to do it is to uh, actually uh, generate the PNG image into a file and then load the file as an image into FLTK. So uh, this should be straightforward. So if we build this, I think we need to create this uh, directory here. Uh, so oops. There's doc data. And if you run this, This generates this this uh, PNG file. Uh, we can load it uh, using FLTK. So uh, if we fill in the uh, web app. Let us say 800-600 and we'll have a frame which uh, will take the the, the, uh, the whole dimensions of the window. So, uh, so from 0, 0 and then 800-600. And since the image was already generated, or we can generate it uh, at the uh, start of the application, uh, we can actually load it using a... Uh, so this is a PNG image, so uh, if we go ahead and create an uh, image here, PNG image. So basically, uh, the uh, crate itself, the FLTK crate, supports uh, multiple types of images. Uh, here you can see them, the shared image, BMP image, JPEG image, uh, etc. Um, and uh, just load the image itself, so it takes a path. So, uh, oops. Uh, 
1.png and then uh, we'll give it to our frame so set image some image We have to run our event loop, of course. So this is the image that was generated. Uh, otherwise, we can actually, instead of uh, creating the image, uh, writing it to a file, we can actually create a buffer and write the image to the buffer and then load the image uh, directly without writing any external files. So let's create a buffer here. So I think uh, plotters needs a uh, uh, already uh, set sized buffer. So uh, let's say 300 by 200 with a depth of uh, Three for uh, RGB images, and here we can use the uh, with buffer constructor. So with buffer, and we can load our own buffer. So here it just draws the rectangle, and then actually uh, to be able to use the uh, the buffer here, we can actually uh, load. So actually the buffer is uh, RGB data, so RGB image. And we'll use new RGB image. And this will take a buffer. So uh, buff. And here, uh, yeah, needs also the width, height, etc. So width, height, and the depth. So let's try this. So because it's uh, immutably borrowing the buffer here, um, we cannot use it even if we're borrowing it immutably in the RGB image constructor since the backend itself is still alive. So we can either um, drop it explicitly drop the backend, so uh, I think we can drop it even before the uh, app here, so backend. Let's see now. Okay, so this wrote the uh, image to a buffer and loaded the buffer even without the uh, this directory here, so there was no need to uh, write any uh, files, temporary files. So without writing any files, we get this. So uh, Plotters also has an SVG backend, and uh, FLTK has uh, an SVG image uh, struct. So let's try it out here. So I think uh, the uh, SVG backend with it doesn't have a buffer, so let's say. Uh, string. So this takes the string here. So let's just say uh, this is a uh, string from an empty string uh, for the moment. And the, uh, okay, we'll use the same sizes here, 200, 600. And we can note this. And this draws the rect at the same uh, location. So we can change this to an SVG image, SVG image, and uh, new. Uh, we have a load function which actually takes a path, or we can actually load it uh, from a string. So it would be from data, which takes a strict slice from data buff, and this doesn't need all the rest here. It's basically the hello button or the hello world example and the repo here so if you go to the uh, or this uh, example which is a an SVG image so uh, cargo run so it 
draws the uh, red rectangle from plotters. This one. And uh, the other uh, library that uh, was also suggested was uh, Rakot. So I think Rakot. Uh, Rakot. Okay. Let's open the docs and the uh, repo itself. So we'll, we'll close this and this. Uh, a successful build. Okay. So this also does some drawing and then uh, writes to a file. So we've seen how we can actually load images from a file. Uh, let us see if we can actually um, get this to generate a buffer. So uh, we use this. Uh, first of all, uh, so this is uh, 0 0.8.0. No here. Zero point eight zero. Oops. And then the main file. We keep this code here, and then uh, just get record. And let's get all of this. So I want to generate a buffer from the image, and uh, let's let's uh, just move all of this. Plotter's code, rust uh, format. <coughs> so let's just try and build this. Let's just run. <coughs> so this is the DT. What is DT? Um, it is a uh, to draw target. So uh, let's see if it has a buffer draw target. So uh, image buffer. Okay, into, into VEC, or even get data U8 since uh, we can actually use the U8 uh, for the uh, RGB image. So, uh, okay, so there is some, uh, there is some, uh, conflicts in the names of the uh, structs since uh, FLTK also uses color as a struct. Uh, we can actually get these um, okay. valued Try to fix this. Uh, okay. Let's try again. So actually, color is exposed in the uh, prelude itself. So. Uh, Color. Um, actually, we don't need. Uh, we need the uh, 
the widget uh, extensions. So need widget next and window next. Okay, so and and group text. Okay, so now we'll try to get the uh, draw target into a buffer. So let's see here. This return returns a uh, get data u8. So if we try again with a uh, RGB image, so I presume it's uh, an RGB image that uh, draw day uh, the draw target returns. So uh, let's say now and the uh, dt get data u8 and. Uh, 400, 400. So let's try here. Okay, so we need also a 40k image or one. Yeah. Okay. So apparently uh, this should uh, draw, <coughs> you go to the uh, crate itself, um, uh, or the repo, should draw something like this, I'm not sure why it's not, I think um, that is hard to play with the depth. Okay, so this generates the image correctly. Uh, I think this has an alpha uh, depth, so this is a, this is an RGBA uh, image, and uh, so we get the image rendered correctly. What else? Uh, if you try to, uh, in general, draw something on a widget using the FLTK uh, drawing primitives, so let's just get this out of the way, use FLTK, and uh, we don't need the uh, rock code. code. So if you say, for example, um, we want it to draw directly on the on the frame itself. <coughs> you can actually uh, override the draw uh, method of the frame, either directly in main, or you can create your own uh, widget uh, struct uh, with impl uh, dref and dref mute, and then uh, override the draw implementation. So uh, we can go frame draw. This takes a box closure. And here we can actually do our drawing here. So uh, let us, uh, for example, draw a line. And this takes an x, y, x, y. So uh, let us say uh, um, this takes the same uh, size of the window. So from 0, 0, and then all the way to the other edge, so 800. 600. So we expect the line going from top left to bottom right. And uh, let's just uh, build this. Okay. You can set the draw color itself. So, for example, uh, um, let's give the frame a white color. So, frame set color, color white. And then here we can set the draw color. So set draw color, color 
thread and let us say the um, draw set line style and the uh, line style uh, style um, not, I don't remember exactly I think there was dotted and other stuff and with let us say five or go run so um, let us check here uh, line style sorry <coughs> Style. So this is in the draw module also. So uh, okay, solid dash dot. Okay, so draw and style and let us say dot or dash dot. Let us take a look here. Okay, and we can actually have uh, the frame set color. Uh, Okay, maybe it's the one set color, color white. Okay, and let's draw another line also. Uh, let us give it another color. So draw a set line, set draw color, color blue, for example. And uh, the draw line and we'll actually uh, reverse this so we'll, we'll start from the uh, top right uh, corner so this will be 800 and 0 to on the left side to 0 and 600 so let's just check here okay so you can see where this is going. Uh, the other primitives, if you check, uh, we've seen here uh, the draw module. All of these, uh, we have some complex polygons. So these are all drawing primitives. So you don't get uh, a lot of stuff. However, uh, you can get uh, an arc, uh, box, circle, uh, rect, uh, rect fill, rect with color, uh, loops size points and uh, for example the um, as we've seen the uh, in the paint example itself so uh, if we go to the uh, to a crate uh, the repo to the examples folder and we go to uh, paint uh, it uses the off screen and then uh, basically sets the draw color and uh, draws a line and points depending on the event. So this is done uh, dynamically uh, as we've seen before. So uh, we uh, build a paint example. So a simple push generates a dot and then if we keep pushing, dragging basically, we get a line. So these are small lines between each uh, dot, and uh, that is basically it. Uh, the next video I'll be creating will be uh, on advanced uses of images. So uh, FLTK has its own uh, image structs, but uh, we can also use uh, another image crate, for example, to load images at compile time or even uh, to handle more image types uh, than what uh, FLTK offers. So these are the image types that we've seen. Shared image, BNP image, JPEG, uh, GIF, PNG, SVG, etc. And if you check the image crate itself, so image crate. You basically get more image types. The uh, TIFF, Icon, Web, uh, WebP, uh, DDS, uh, whatever. So I think this will be uh, the uh, next tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.